into the kitten bowl, puppy bowl edition of the Terra Milo health coach video. We are... I'm pretty excited about this year's uh, kitten bowl mm -hmm. and puppy bowl, especially considering all the talent that's there. Right. Well, and it's the first kitten bowl. Yeah. So it's got to be good. And I can't wait to see Mr. Mr. Whiskers take on Farrell Owens. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good good competition. Yeah. For the game today we made guacamole. It's cheesy, <sighs> oozy, goozy guacamole from the Kind Life, uh Kind Diet. This book actually led us to become vegan. So um it taught it, us how to be vegan, yeah. Right, yes. And it uh it includes a great recipe for guacamole. So we made that. And we just had some, and it's so good. I can't mm -hmm. wait to go eat more. Now we're all full, but a good fool. Yeah. And tonight we'll have a pinto bean soup, uh, kind of a tomato base, mm -hmm. and probably some fries. We might make our own fries. Yeah, I think so. Just While we fun. watch the Browns play in the Super Bowl. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's no meat in what we eat, of course. Um, but as a health coach, I practice this idea of bioindividuality, which means that, you know, we find the right food for each person's body, and that really helps you feel good all the time and prevent illness, prevent disease, give you some really good energy. Um, that's the, the idea of bioindividuality. So for the, for the two of us, a vegan diet works great. We, we feel good all the time. Um, we're never sick, we, you know, everything is good. But for our cats, they can't be vegan, of course. And, you know, we've tried to give them the best food that we can find. But um, we've discovered and kind of realized over time that the food that we've been giving them isn't good for them. And uh, we lost one cat. Now Lemon is sick. Um, he's been sick for a while. And... So we, we came across this idea of giving cats and dogs a raw food diet that's more natural and species specific. So it's designed for their bodies. And this makes sense to us as we, you know, try to pursue this idea of bioindividuality. So we actually have frozen raw meat in the freezer and we are mm -hmm. starting with Imogen because she's the most open to the canned food and the kind of wet food. Lemon loves his crunchy food. Um, but we're, we're going to move them to a more raw food diet, which you would think as vegans would be the last thing we would do. Cause some people actually try to make their cat vegan, which is... I don't know about that. Yeah, that's not really ideal for them. And I don't know. I'm not going to say any more about that. But for us, we want them to eat what they would eat mm -hmm. naturally so which is interesting in a way because you get opened up to mm -hmm. the right meat possibilities out right. there mm -hmm. so could go to the store and go cellophane 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 sure cellophane wrapped cellophane wrapped crazy and just buy from the grocery store mm -hmm. which you know might not be the best option so right. in researching we've found some better options yeah on saturday we um, we took Greg's mother to the Brunty Farm, which is a local farm, and they um, they have cows and pigs and chickens and all of this. And we wanted to make bone broth for lemon because bone broth is incredible. If if people are feeling sick and run down, it really helps with the digestive system. Um, it's just a really powerful thing for people to do, and it's also really great for pets. And so I'm hoping that it will kind of stimulate Lemon's digestion and help him feel better. So his mom is going to make it for Lemon, which is so sweet of her. So we went and bought right. a chicken, a whole chicken, Ugh. and mm -hmm. she's cooking it for Lemon. Yep, it's probably just about defrosted by now. Right. But it was so nice to go and... You know, you know that those animals are being raised in a pasture, and they get to interact with each other, and um, they yeah. actually end their life on the farm. They don't have to travel and have all that stress. So, um, it's a, it's just a much better, more ethical place for uh, to get your meat 
if you mm -hmm. are somebody who eats meat. They also have eggs and cheese. Um, yeah, a good variety. And mm -hmm. even in the meat, they yeah. jazz it up some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, so fingers crossed, Lemon will start feeling better um, with all of this yeah. <laughs> meat that we're bringing into the house for him. So what other adventures do you have on your health coaching agenda? Um, well, it is too cold outside to do anything, so mm -hmm. I'm taking my workshops inside. Uh, we are going to have our workshops entirely online, which will be really fun just for the next couple months. Um, the first one will be a green smoothie workshop, so you can learn about how to make green smoothies. And mm. we're going to use Google Hangouts, so you just get on your computer and join the Hangout. And and this week, I went to Mustard Seed and checked out the demo kitchen, and it was beautiful. Cool. It's really exciting. My cooking class is on Tuesday, February 18th, and I hope you'll come. That's at the Mustard Seed in Montrose. And then on Thursday, the 27th, is the cooking demo at the Mustard Seed in Solon. Cool. So, um, That'll be fun. Yeah. Tickets are $20. Greg's going to help out. Uh, we're kind of a fun team when we're cooking stuff, so you should come and check mm -hmm. it out. Yeah, that would be good. Well, that sounds like some healthy options, some good advice, interesting stuff out there. Yeah, yeah. So enjoy your puppy bowl today. Right. And that is... I guess that's it.